Hey guys, let me do a little reaction video here. We've got the $2,400 Louis XIII Negroni. It says ordering the most expensive drinks. And this gentleman's name is Louis Lux. Um, from what I understand, he got his start on TikTok and the crux of his videos are ordering. He orders a lot of things, goes to restaurants, bars, whatever orders very expensive things and I'm not gonna say too much more because Jesse hasn't seen this guy but let's let's roll this what's the most expensive drink you have here Louis the 13th here cast 42 how much is that 2400 $2, okay I'll take it Ooh, so this is like a seventy thousand dollar bottle isn't it it is yes well I know you recommend it neat but can I do it in like a Negroni absolutely okay let's do it let's go this is a twenty five hundred dollar Negroni <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, wait. I, I think you missed a couple drops. There we go, all right. My most expensive one yet, guys. Sheesh. All right, all right. Carpano Antica, sweet vermouth. All right, give it a good stir. $2,500 Negroni. This is mind blowing. This is almost $3,000 in one glass. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Your mortgage. <sighs> Wealth. All right, so what's your take on this? So it's the, so I don't know which Louis the 13th that is. It says rare 42.6 cask. It's 42.6 the proof? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know about the proof, the, the alcohol content. Don't know. I, I'm guessing so. That would be my guess because I didn't know that there was a seventy thousand dollar Louis the Thirteenth. Maybe it's special edition or something. It's something. It says rare forty two point six cask. I don't know if you guys know what forty two point six means. Drop that down in the comments. But I got nothing. I mean, it's obviously it's outrageous, right? I don't know. Well, so Negroni would not be my first choice of cocktail no. if I was paying twenty five hundred dollars. So I don't even like Campari like that. Yeah, exactly. And if, and if you were going to do that, you'd find some sort of substitute to Campari in this case, based on that cocktail at that price. Yeah. All right. So this guy, how much is that? Hold on. How much is that? At, outrageous. That's how much it is. Right. So this guy is all about, um, shock value, right? Oh, it's shock value. All right. Right. So I like how he round, rounded up. I mean, it went from, it's a $2,500 cock. <laughs> well, actually, it says $2,400 in the title, but he wrote $2,500, $2, and then he was like, it's an almost $3,000 cocktail. It's I mean, a, shit, it might as well be a $10,000 cocktail. $500 syntax, apparently. Well, there is that, <laughs> plus the $100 buffer. Right. Hold on. $2,400. And I guess he so this is like turned it into a $2,500. It is, yes. $70,000. Absolutely. Right, okay, let's do it. Let's go. This is a $2,500. The guy says, can you do that into a Negroni? He was like, hell yeah, I can. I'll right. make it into whatever the hell you want me to. So his shtick is obviously super price, in this case, super priced cocktails yeah. and taking something that you would not put in a, yeah, as a mixer and doing that yeah. to smack, smack people in the face. It's kind of like what we did at the very beginning when exactly. we made our cocktails right. with like Pappy and Rock Hill and... Yeah, um, that wasn't for effect, but yes, we did. Well, no, that right. was just out of necessity because that's all we had, which ironically, all we had were those well, ridiculous <laughs> bottles, but that was due to uh, a good friend donating. Right, but that was, part of our, that was part of our process, too. Yes. We, whatever was available, we would put in a Manhattan and see which one makes the best one. All right. So. <clears throat> well, I'm all about it. So if his thing is he doesn't like neat spirits he likes them in a cocktail and he has the means to do this i'm all for this too well, i'm all for it too i mean obviously he's got the means it's not like he's done one video i mean right. he does a lot of these things so mm -hmm. i don't know we'll have to check some more of these out if you guys have ever seen this guy drop a link or drop a uh comment down in the under the uh video what you guys want to see us do so yeah. i i've seen a handful of these and when i was researching this again <clears> today <throat> First thing that pops up, Lewis Lux is a fake. And if you replay this video, you'll see they do not show him pouring that liquid in, in there. Oh. And that's apparently a common theme 
among his videos. Well, you know what? All, you of, can't... A, all of a sudden, it's in a jigger. Well, you can't see. You can't really see the level. Let me, let me turn the volume well, down on this so I can watch this without blowing everybody's ears out. I got it. Let's see. You can kind of see the level. No, you can't really see the level. I mean, I guess in some of the other. Yeah, I mean, if you were actually doing this, you're gonna you're gonna show that being poured. But you know what? Look at the stopper. Look at the stopper. See the stopper, the orientation of the stopper. It's kind of kind of turned a little bit uh, clockwise off of center. Well, and if you no, watch, they, they show him take the top off. It doesn't mean he poured it though. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. Okay. I don't know. I'm not here to prove the man a fake. I just think that's well, you know, outrageous and, that he does that. And honestly, like if if this was the theme in every video where he doesn't show it being poured, it would be a great way to set people up later to be like. Oh, look, here's the actual video of him pouring it in there, then pouring it in there. Yeah. Be like, F you, I've, you know, I've done it. But here it is. I don't believe, I don't believe he's making these. I think he goes to these places and says, will you fake making one of these? And I'll pay you whatever. But I mean, maybe, I don't know. Well, again, we're talking about TikTok, YouTube. Everyone's got their own way of getting famous. And I don't blame him for that. Even though it's a lie, it's. Maybe a lie, sorry. Well, he's got 171,000 likes on this video. Right. So if that tells you anything just based off of our stuff, right. 171,000 likes, he probably has half a million views on it. Yeah. Would be my guess, if not more. And I'm not judging him. I think it's it's a great idea. It's a little deceptive, maybe, but I would absolutely do this yeah. <laughs> if I had the means to do it. <laughs> no. All right, well, hey, there's a reaction. Catch you guys later. See ya.